Yeah, welcome back from that break. Um, the Honorable on Sports, the SSA on Sports, so Governor Samuel Lu was here earlier on, Honorable Dam Leary, and uh, he spoke about so many things which a lot of people will be delighted on. Uh, it's good to know that facilities are key to the development of sports, and Lagos State is not taking that for granted. And as it is, almost three stadiums will be commissioned in another three months. Good news to everybody out there. Let's go straight to grassroots. You know, we don't joke with grassroots um, programs when it comes to Super Screen. The Ajegule Peace Cup Season 5 is on. It will be commencing on the 2nd of, on the 1st of October, I beg your pardon, and the draws were held yesterday. Quite mouth-watering draws where the defending champion, Akibo Street, will be taking on Aousa Line. Rabiu Adio Crescent will take on Ojuku Street. And Agbe Street will be taking on Salami Street. Kirikiri Road will take on Ojo Road. And on Wednesday, it will be Aribo Street versus Okonwa Street. Chidi Street versus Perukumo Street. And the draws were quite interesting to note that almost everybody who is with Nigeria was a tenant but the beauty part of it is that two million naira is the state money that each team will take home a million naira for the winner 500 for the runner up 250 for the third place and the others for the best player best goalkeeper and a tag was given to this season five peep into the future like you rightly know the man who has actually supported this particular massive project honorable fatai ayola the executive chairman of Adjournment for Lodun will be going up the seat by next year. So what comes up next is the big uh, issue. But he has been a colossal support to this particular project. He has given it the pep. It's one project that has brought about discovery of talented players right here in Ajegule. So come October 1, the season 5 of the Ajegule Peace Cup will kickstart. And the DG of the Sports Council, a person of Mark Anthony and Lechuku, actually gave a brief on what the Peace Cup is all about. Let's take that brief. Uh, I'll be back soon. We've had um, to we meet you, sir. My name is Mark Anthony Anelichuku, Director General at Jerome Philippe Sports Council. We're here for the Peace Cup Rose, fifth yeah. edition. Yeah. Um, what has actually built up to this and what is the expectation of the teams and the Sports Council itself? Well, uh, of course, we all know that um, what gave birth to the Peace Cup was as a result of the NSA saga in the year 2020, 2020, 20, 22, okay. That's October when we had a quantum destruction of properties in Ajigule. So we just felt that um, it's pertinent we have um, uh, our youth come together under one umbrella of football to uh, um, celebrate peace in our community. And this was actually the vision of Honorable Fatah Adekulia Yola, the Executive Chairman of Ajeromi Government Council. The Commission itself is now in its fifth edition, in its fifth year, and um, we are using this as uh, kind of um, a parting gift to the Executive Chairman. Of course, he will not be here to celebrate next year's edition. He will come as a special guest during the next year's edition. So that's why we tag this year's edition a peep into the future. You know, so let's see what the future holds in the absence of a Fatah de Kula Yola as the executive chairman of Ajero Mayfield. How many things are we expecting and what is the prize money? Yeah, we, we, we've had um, 26 registered teams and we refuse to take more teams because we want to make this one. I was going to play on whom we All right, welcome back from that break. That's the Ajugle Peace Cup that will be commencing October 1 and culminating 2nd of November. And 26 teams will actually carry through this particular competition with the 2 million prize tag money going out to every participant. Away from that, let's talk about the league. It's March Day 4 and Mouth Watering Games are on. Just on Wednesday, Enugu Rangers came to Lagos and defeated the Corridor City and Aimba held their own by giving Lobby a taste of that bitter pill. This weekend, tomorrow, Ikoriju City will be at home against Nasura United for 3 p.m. game. Aqua United will be playing Sunshine Stars. Rivers United will be hosting Aimba. That should be the peak of the weekend. Uh, you want to call it the South-South Derby? It's okay. Uh, you know, Rivers United and Aimba, one man did coach both teams. Right now, he's in the other divide. I'm talking about Rivers United. And also, you have Abia Warriors taking on Kano Pillars and the Remo Stars 
will be hosting Enugu Rangers. So these are mouth-watering games. So far, so good. But there are teams in this particular uh, uh, season of the MPFL 2024-2025 season that have not picked up points. So they'll be looking up to this weekend to pick up their three points, as the case may be. And 3SC is one of those teams. Won't take so much on the domestic scene. I'm going straight to the foreign scene where there are games this weekend. Mark watering games. I'm starting from the EPL, and you can be rest assured that so much is on the ground. Uh, for today, my presence I should look at today's game. It is Real Valladolid versus Real Mallorca, right there in Spain, and AC Milan will be playing US Lecce. That is in the uh, Italian Sura. Uh, and in the Bundesliga, it is Borussia Dortmund taking on VLF VFL Bankam. That's a team I love. I don't support them, but I love them. Also in League On, it is AJ Oxar taking on State Brest 28 and PSG will be at home against State Reds. On Saturday, on Saturday, it's straight to the EPL. Let's see if we can get some more games as the case may be. Yes, the EPL, you have Newcastle will be hosting Manchester City. What will the new era without Rodri look like when City goes out to Newcastle. Well, they've always had victories right in there, but will it be a different turn? Will they be rattled like what almost happened last week Sunday? Chelsea will be at home against Brighton. Will Brighton eventually bring in their A game to be at the last game? They had it 2 2 against Crystal Palace. And Brentford will be playing West Ham uh, in that particular game. Quickly, let's go to the Bundesliga again for tomorrow, which is Saturday. Men's will be playing Hemde Hin. Uh, Wolfsburg will be playing. VF Stuttgart and SC Freiburg will take on FC St. Pauli, a new team, and RB Leipzig will be playing us back. If you like it, you take it the way it is. Um, so much to look at this weekend, quite interesting games in and out, and a lot of people are actually taking their best, but bet responsibly as the case may be. And I want to wish you all the very best this weekend. As I say, bye bye for now for the show. Big thank you to our king. And the Honorable came in later, not forgetting Dwayne Wanko to go who has done so good every time we're on this show. And uh, take it or you leave it, everybody out there who has actually given super splendid support in our various program, I want to say a very big thank you to you and have a splendid weekend. My name remains Prince Lovisa saying bye-bye for now.